So it's been almost a year since the last video. I um, decided to go ahead and do a new one. I've been living on the boat since September and a ton of ton of projects. I of course fix one thing, five break on a boat. Today we were working on uh, get down here. You can see it's a definitely an ongoing project with all the electrical. It's rather expensive. Um, down boy, I have no light down here. Uh, it's a Blue Seas AC panel. My old panel was not. I'm trying to find some light here. Hang on. Yep. Oh, that's awful. There we go. Uh, the old panels are the old push button. Some of them work. Some of them don't. Uh, some of them barely work. And I've been having a lot of a lot of heat issues and a lot of voltage issues. A lot of that's here at the marina. The uh, the DC over here is no longer functional. It's just stuck in there to fill in the hole. And I've got most of these in here. I'm still having some uh, some reverse polarity issues, which I think is a voltage problem, not actually a, a reverse polarity issue. I guess I'll keep my light handy because it's it's getting dark in here. I've gotten rid of the it's over here in the bag somewhere. The old uh, here was the uh, the panel that was in here. You can see it's pretty pretty chintzy in the back. I mean, it's, it's a it's about the same as far as construction. Actually, that's not aluminum, is it? Hmm. Guess it's not. This other one is aluminum. It's very, very well built. I was a little irritated with the price uh, until I got it, and it's it's pretty nice. And this was the AC panel that was up here with the analog gauges. You can see the discoloration in here. And you may be able to see on the back uh, where it has melted some. I've gotten extremely hot and it trips that the the 30 amp main breaker just that one uh, it trips that all the time because uh, we're only pulling three point I'll expose you on my little screen 3.7 volts right now um, I bought this piece here from China for 20 bucks uh, rather than 200 locally and then another 15 plus shipping uh, for the blue C panel and I had to elongate a little bit but it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tear all this out, I'm gonna redo this entire thing. This is going. I've got a, a new panel. It's about the same size as this one. A new selector. I've got two separate power inlets. I've got one up in the anchor locker and another one back in the cockpit. And I'll be able to select between the two of them. Right now, if you plug one in, the other one is actually hot, and you could technically zap yourself. Or if it got wet, it could short out. And with the new panel, it's kind of just like this one. Except it doesn't have the generator start and preheat on it like this does. So I'll have to drill a couple of small holes in, in the other panel or something. I'll figure it out. Uh, I don't know if I had this last time. Get that glare out of it. Last time or not. Uh, this is my clipper battery monitor. It's hard to get that out. Uh, it will illuminate. It's nice. It's at your, your house uh, DC and amps discharge battery charger on this side it's, it's it's not charging right now so it just shows if it was charging it would be charge minus your discharge and then your starting battery well it's hard to get out of there and then how many amp hours you've used so when you go on the hook you push you hold it resets and then you can see how many amp hours you've used and then it's got a little bar on the side that tells you it uses algorithms to figure out we are 95% and it would take 101 hours to discharge the batteries. And honestly, I don't know if that's 100% or if that's down to the recommended 60%. And they say don't take your batteries below 60%. But it's cool because you can turn... Uh, let's see. Let me run that back on. I'll show you my new, uh, all my new LEDs here in a second. But that's part of the power I'm using. So you'll see that drop down. And then I've got my other lights on. You see that drop down? So you can turn each individual item on and see how many amps it's actually pulling. It's kind of cool. Uh, what else have we done? We've got the Mr. Heater kicking down here. Uh, it just kind of helps compensate for the electric bill. These are my LEDs, the little strips that I've installed. We used to have a old Ford bumper tag lights they had up under here. Most of them are corroded. One or two of them worked. Uh, plus, they use a lot of amperage. Got one down here in the galley. And it actually looks a lot cooler. Him, 
I'll have to wait and play it back and see what it looks like. But it, it's not that that bright. Uh, I know it doesn't look like it casts out very far, but it lights the, the whole room up real nice. You get out here, you can see. Uh, and, and it's not that sharp, I should say. Uh, and I've installed the strips up here. It's a little better when the camera adjusts. And back here, I've got that open because I was dealing with a leak. It, it unzips up there. I was dealing with a, a leak with all the rain we had yesterday. And then there's some more up under the berth. Over in the galley, we have a mess. Uh, I've gotten rid of the old crappy rheostat for temperature control, and I've installed this one also. As well, this was a little bit more. This is actually made for an aquarium, but it's just got a little relay and then a, a temperature sensor that you poke down inside of whatever you're using. I'm sure what all is in here. I've actually got it just stuck down there in the bottom, and I wrapped my ice box to separate temperature between the refrigerator and the freezer. Plus, the ice doesn't build up on it. It's great. If it does, you just flake it off. You don't have to dethaw as, or de defrost as much. But I regulate my, my refrigerator temperature, and then the freezer, it, it keeps things really, really cold. I think I've got four or five layers of aluminum foil. I was using saran wrap and then putting aluminum foil over the top of it. But I've, I've just started using the aluminum foil. It works just fine by itself, and it's easier than, than the saran wrap. Probably costs a little more, but yeah, whatever, it's a few pennies. Uh, what else have we done back here? Oh, let's see, we've done LEDs. Hey, look, dark. Up in these, and all of my overhead lights I've installed. It will be impossible, I'm sure, this thing won't adjust. Uh, look, it's like Tron. Cool. <laughs> uh, but it's it's just a little plate. I've got some of them back here I can show you. To this one, I've got the same thing in this one. Plus, I've added the red. You can see the one little red LED. All that stuff straight from China. I know. Buy American, whatever. It comes from China anyway. Just skip the middle, man. Where are those things? They're over here. So, get back in my life somewhere. I will end up ordering way too many, so I'm giving and selling these little things. And they come with the pigtails that you can stick, and, and they plug in individually. Whichever one you want to use plugs into the, uh, the LED plate. And it's got three different ends uh, for different types of bulbs. It doesn't have the 1157, the big stuff. Uh, but they're real easy. You can either use the 3M backing or just stick it up there. I've actually just got them stuck up in there. They fit in there really well. And this piece here is the little strip that uh, that I've got up under the toe kit everywhere. And I've got all this stuff sitting out. Oh, good. You can't see it. All this stuff sitting out. Um, good way to put up. Uh, just trying to get things organized. As you can see, it's, it's a little cluttered right now. Uh, dishes to do and it's always a project there's always just stuff sitting around everywhere that needs to be done um, I keep ordering stuff oh bought a new radio it's hard to see with all the light I got a new Sony radio I um, also got this one off eBay for a hundred bucks I think West Marine sells it for like 180 uh, bought new speakers the little box speakers here, you can see the hole back there where the other one used to be. Not real happy with these, they don't have enough bass in them, which would be fine except for the ones that I put in the berth and back in the, uh, the dressing area, whatever you want to call that. Uh, they have a lot of bass in them. Uh, they're just the, the five and a half inch round. And uh, it ended up, uh, got a lot of bass back there and no bass up here. I've also got an outboard that I'm working on. Um, got it off eBay, probably shouldn't have, but you don't win every time. Uh, I had to replace the water pump in it, I had to replace the pull cord, and it's got a screen in it, it's got an integral fuel tank. Uh, and it's got a screen below the carburetor, which isn't easy to get to, but um, hopefully, because it's not getting any fuel, hopefully it's not the fuel pump, it's just the, the screen that needs to be cleaned. What else have we done? There's just tons of stuff. Rewiring, um, done some plumbing. The motor's been doing real well, been real happy with that. I've not done much motoring or gone out 
It's just it's been nasty. So sorry, I think I pushed the button. I might have to splice these two together. Anyway, so I hadn't been out much. Uh, when I do go sailing or something, we race. Um, we do the little yacht club here. We do races and such. I crew on other people's boats. I'm, I'm not a member, so I don't take my boat out. I don't really. I have to clean all this stuff up. Yeah, I just ain't doing it. Well, I'm waiting for springtime. I'm waiting for a little bit warmer weather so I can at least go anchor out. We've got a, a little trip on well, my friend's boat, J34, heading down river. About a day's trip down river. Going to pull his mast and do a little work on it and then come back up the following or the two days later. So I still get out. I just, I just don't take my boat out much. But I will come summertime. I'll at least go anchor out and do a little sailing with it. Keep it, uh, keep it a sailboat instead of a freaking houseboat. Something else I've done, if anybody... Uh, it's, it's that, I don't know if you can see it, maybe hear it, eh, kind of see it flexing a little bit. Uh, it's, it's just the crap, the cheap crap from Home Depot to insulate your windows. You just put the little double-sided tape around the edges and then get the hair dryer. I actually use my uh, my Mr. Heater uh, and then shrink it down. I think it's really helped keep it warmer in here because you know, these things just aren't made for the winter time. But um, bought lots of books. <laughs> just waiting for springtime to to get to reading them. I hate sitting in here in the winter time and reading, so I just I end up playing on eBay and spending money. Uh, that's about all I can think of. Big projects and little stuff here and there, but so I've got new panels. Um, maybe next month I'll order them out. They're actually not on their way. It's, it's a pretty big expense. Uh, I need two new DC panels and then that one I was talking about earlier with the selector switch. And then buy a great big chunk of wood and figure out how I'm going to redo all this stuff because I absolutely hate the way it's laid out right now. It's, it's getting worse. Plus there's a bunch of holes in there. So, um, short and sweet. I guess that's it. Oh, um, they put a new Whale 220 diaphragm pump for my, uh, my shower pump. It's interesting. Uh, I, I like it once I figured out where I had a big air leak. Uh, it ended up being a vacuum leak. It, it really moves a lot of water. Uh, but it kind of wants to suck, spit, suck, spit. kind of pushes it back up a little bit. I may have to get a, a one-way check valve or something on there to, to keep it from doing that. I know it's got a little built-in, or what they call it, a little built-in thing to, to help it. But it doesn't seem to be helping much. A lot of things I want to get done. Um... And that's about it. Just a just a little update. Um, maybe we'll take the camera and, and get a little a uh, little bit of the trip tomorrow. Heading down, it'll be cold in the morning. It's supposed to be 50 during the day. I'm gonna try to add some of that in there. We'll see you. I got one more to throw on the end here. Um, I didn't accidentally push the button last time. Uh, so I've got my DC panel and got it put in, and it's a rat's nest behind there. Not literally, but this, the the wiring. Uh, whoever's had this boat before, just added, pulled, changed, deleted, and I've demoed more wire out of here. It's it's been absolutely awful pulling all the old crap out and trying to find out where it went and, and replacing wires and and uh, finding problems. This, it's been really great. I've had refrigerator issues from day one and I finally found out digging through all this stuff I had a big gash and, and corrosion in the main power wire going to my refrigerator. So problem solved there. And that was one of a couple of problems. Um, I've still got the selector switch that's coming. It should be here in a few days. But I've got the DC panel installed so I'm just tickled about that. I figured I'd go ahead and throw it on the end of this and show you that one. Oh, and I've already got the light going. I was ready this time after watching the other. I'm actually editing the videos right now. This is the DC panel. Uh, it comes with uh, 14 switches. Uh, I've still got to order a couple of them. Yeah, this one here. I've got a little duct tape up there so I can get it out. They're kind of a pain to get out once they're actually in. That's the water maker, and they don't give you a water maker sticker. And the one that says stove actually came from my AC side. I guess they don't have DC stoves on refrigerators or on refrigerators on boats. Uh, so I had to, I thought I was going to have to order that, that one, but fortunately I had it left over from my AC side. 
and the rest of them lined up pretty well. Um, I'm just I'm say I'm just thrilled to have that. And this is the panel that was on the other side. I said it doesn't do anything. It's going on eBay eventually, but it's it's there to fill in the hole. Oh, plus I've got one of these. If you ever get real desperate and you're out, hey, your battery's dead. But there's a, a motion sensor light stuck over there that, that lights up. Turn my lights off. That's great. Uh, of course, and then that one, and this hole will be filled in. And I'll probably just temporary put me another board over the top of it and get rid of this generator panel. I'm trying to get everything to match. I'll just give me another board and try to to do over the top of it and and just make it look nice, at least temporarily, because it's it's going to be a lot of work to replace all this. It'll be nice once it's done, because it's it's been some leakage. Leakage? Is that such a word? Uh, leaks up above on the inside and down through the back over the years and it's it doesn't really look as bad as all that. Somebody, the last owner had, rather than trying to fix it, just cover it up. Hopefully he doesn't see this. Nice, nice enough guy. But it's, he just covered a lot of stuff up. And then down here where the sole had gotten and down at the bottom with the the, uh, the berth, just just stuck some crap over the top of it, rather than trying to fix it right. I think I can save the sole. Uh, <laughs> how about that? And save the sole. But this part, I think I'm just gonna. It's dry now. And I've gotten the leaks dealt with. I think I'm gonna to pad over the top of it. I've got some really nice vinyl. I think I'm gonna just make a piece of wood and and vinyl it and then it'll look like it's like a, a pad for your knee. I think it'll look fine. And then probably just, it's just this board would be a pain to replace. Probably just do the same thing he did. Just cover it up with some something nicer than the paneling that he used. But <coughs> I'll just end up doing the same thing he did. I, I shouldn't say anything. Plus I've got a new, I hate these things. They're just crazy expensive and they're ugly. And it's brass. Let's get rid of all the brass. I've got a new one coming. I'm looking forward to that. Get this. It's just all looking better. Well, one thing I didn't show last time with those LED strips, I put them in the closets, and this one's not too awfully exciting. They are way back. Oh, yeah, maybe you'll see them again. So I got that. In the Lots of splicing. This time the memory stick was full. No, my fault, man. Oh, we got a little light. It's always a mess in here. I swear, it's not always. I guess it's not really a mess. Oh, uh, damp red. Um, even with the dehumidifier, I still get humidity, especially in places without ventilation. But. So in here, we've got the three sets. I, I did one in the top and got rid of the, the light. Uh, you can see where it used to be up there. I'm going to paint all that eventually. Um, so I got rid of that, and I was like, wow, that's really cool, but wouldn't it be neat? to put one down here and then down there and the whole thing would light up and so I had I was ordering more strips for a friend anyway so I went ahead and ordered a couple more and the whole closet lights up now which I think is pretty cool I like to show, show that one off and I guess that's it I'll get this thing spliced spliced and spliced again and then I'll get it posted I hope you guys enjoy see you.